China is not just building high-speed rail, they are rebuilding the entire nation one mile at a time. With steel corridors stretching from mountains and forests to deserts, from bustling cities to remote border regions, China is redrawing the development map. Not with slogans, but with speed, scale, and unprecedented determination. In less than two decades, starting from disconnected routes, they have built the largest high-speed rail network on the planet, over 28,000 miles, equivalent to more than 45,000 kilometers, as of the end of 2023. China alone accounts for over 66% of the world's total high-speed rail length. They are not just shortening journeys, they are shortening the development gap, turning high-speed rail into a strategic tool for the entire national economy. And today, I'm James from Top 10 Discoveries Official, inviting you to explore the most astonishing high-speed rail lines that are redefining modern China. 1. Beijing, Guangzhou. The backbone of a superpower. At approximately 1,430 miles long, this is the longest high-speed rail line in the world, connecting the capital Beijing with the southern port city of Guangzhou, a major economic hub. A journey that used to take more than 22 hours now takes only around 8 hours. No traffic, no delays, no tedious procedures. Maximum speed, 217 miles per hour, equivalent to 350 kilometers per hour. The total investment exceeds 234 billion US dollars. This line connects over 80 cities, directly impacting more than 500 million people living along the North Central South Corridor. Each year, this line transports over 150 million tons of cargo, significantly reducing logistics costs and shortening supply chains throughout the eastern coastal region. A shipment leaving Guangzhou in the morning can reach Beijing before sunset. Transit cities like Zhengzhou, Hengyang, and Yueyang have seen industrial growth rates of 35 to 40 percent since the line became operational. Domestic tourism has increased by an additional 50 million trips annually. Real estate has surged, commerce is booming, and population mobility across regions has become more dynamic than ever before. This is not just a railway, it is the economic artery of modern China. 2. Beijing, Shanghai, a race of speed between two megacities stretching approximately 810 miles or 1,300 kilometers. This high-speed rail line connects the two largest, most populous, and highest GDP cities in China, Beijing and Shanghai. This is not just a transportation corridor. It is the busiest high-speed rail line in the world. There are 41 high-speed trains operating daily on this route, serving over 200 million passengers every year, a number that exceeds the entire annual ridership of Amtrak in the United States. Travel time between the two cities, once taking 12 hours, has now been reduced to just four hours and 28 minutes. And the most impressive part? It boasts an on-time rate of nearly 99%, while China's major airlines average only 65 to 68%. Now compare that to Europe, the Paris-Barcelona route, only 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers, takes over six hours and 25 minutes with just a few trains running per day. Why? Because of aging infrastructure that's difficult to modernize. But China? They built everything from scratch, fast, bold, and modern, with a clear long-term strategic vision. The Beijing-Shanghai line is undeniable proof that if a nation has vision, determination, and execution power, it can redefine the very concept of distance. 3. Lanzhou, Urumqi, steel tracks paving the way for the arid west. This rail line spans approximately 1,100 miles, or 1,776 kilometers, cutting across three vast provinces, Gansu, Qinghai, and Xinjiang, an arid, resource-rich region that has long lagged behind in development. It is the first high-speed rail line to enter northwest China, an area with harsh climate, sparse population, and a previous transport system that couldn't meet even basic mobility demands. With a design speed of 155 miles per hour, equivalent to 250 kilometers per hour, the line serves both passengers and cargo, especially containers, 
coal, and agricultural products for export. Though Xinjiang's population density is just about 12 people per square mile, the region is a resource powerhouse, home to massive reserves of fossil fuels and renewable energy. It also acts as a key gateway connecting China with Central Asia under the Belt and Road Initiative. This rail line reduces freight transit time from the west to the eastern provinces from five days to just two and cuts regional logistics costs by up to 30%. From 2015 to 2022, Xinjiang's GDP grew by more than 60%. Urbanization rose from 48% to nearly 60% thanks to improved infrastructure that made it easier for labor, goods, and capital to move in and out. The Lanzhou urumqi line isn't just a transport corridor. It is the spinal column of a rising Western economic zone, with Xinjiang positioned as a national hub for energy, manufacturing, and logistics. Fourth, Yantai Dalian Tunnel, piercing the seafloor, opening a strategic corridor. Located deep beneath the Bohai Strait, the Yantai Dalian Rail Tunnel is under development to become the longest undersea railway tunnel in the world. About 65 miles long, equivalent to 105 kilometers, nearly twice the length of the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. With an estimated investment of 27.8 billion US dollars, this project will connect two key port cities in Northeast China and the Shandong Peninsula, an economic zone with a combined regional GDP exceeding one trillion US dollars per year. Currently, the journey between Yantai and Dalian takes nearly eight hours by ferry. Once the tunnel is complete, high-speed rail will cut this to just 40 minutes. The design includes two double-track tunnels capable of operating 200 trains per day, serving both passenger and freight traffic. It is expected to carry 30 million passengers and more than 200 million tons of cargo per year, easing the burden on maritime routes and saving billions of dollars in logistics costs annually. More importantly, this tunnel will serve as a strategic link within China's national eight vertical and eight horizontal high-speed rail network, helping connect the Northeast North China Shandong Economic Triangle and extend freight corridors further into the country's Western interior. If construction stays on schedule, this will not only be an engineering marvel, but a logistics game changer for all of Northeast Asia. For China, infrastructure isn't just construction, it's a strategy. They don't wait for demand to appear before they build. They build to create demand. No region is too remote. No city is too small. Each rail line doesn't just connect point A to point B. It becomes a lifeline carrying people, goods, ideas, and opportunity across the entire nation. China isn't just developing individual cities. They are developing the entire country as one integrated, sustainable, fast-moving system. And the most impressive part? They're not stopping anytime soon. Which route impressed you the most? The lightning-fast Beijing, Guangzhou Line, the bold and far-reaching Lanzhou, Urumqi Corridor, or the ambitious, record-breaking Yantai Dalian Undersea Tunnel? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Top 10 Discoveries Official so you won't miss our next adventures. From bridges that span oceans to cities rising from the desert. I'm James. See you in the next video.